Hello growers, my name's Chris and I'm here at One Stop Grow Shop to explain to you guys the twinkling world of LED technology. Have you ever been in a situation where you've been limited by the temperatures that you're getting inside your grow environment, which means lower yields? Now, a lot of our customers depend on the extra income that they earn when they're growing fruits and vegetables and having to shut down because of high temperatures can mean a loss of extra income and some very unhappy punters. If I've just described you, then we have got some LED fixtures that you might be interested in. HPS technology has been an industry favourite for almost two decades and when LEDs first came out we were given all kinds of facts and figures like it will be equivalent to a thousand watt HPS or a thousand watt metal halide and a lot of growers were investing a lot of money into it and only finding out that they wouldn't really flower and get much yield. So as time went on, growers began to mistrust LED technology, but now times are changing. We can offer a fantastic light spectrum from LED technology. We can offer a very low wattage, minimal heat output, so we don't have to close our gardens during the summer. As I'm sure you've seen our previous videos on both the Spectrum King and the Helio Spectra LED fixtures, we at One Stop like to keep a close eye on the LED technology market and up until this point we really haven't found a lower end model that we wanted to attach our name to. But with advances in technology, there are now some fantastic models that fall into the mid price range but still really yield fantastic results. Now, don't get me wrong, it's always going to be a little bit more costly when you're setting up LED technology rather than HPS, but when you factor in not having to change reflectors, not having to change your bulb, you will claw that money back over time. Okay, so first up we have the Unit Farm UFO 80. Now, this little tinker pulls 170 watts of electricity and it gives off about the same yield as a 250 watt HPS, but with it being LED, with it having the vastly broader spectrum of light, you'll be getting plants that are a lot more healthy. It has two switches, simple enough, one for veg output, for vegetative growth with blue and white light, and we also have one for flowering growth with red light. We also have the option of putting both of them on to giving us a fantastically broad spectrum when we're ripening our crop near the end. It has a micromole output in the centre of about 1,469, but still only uses 170 watts of electricity. So, with this being LED technology, it has an absolutely minimal heat output, and although the Unit Farm is one of the cheapest LED fixtures that we currently stock, it's manufactured using both Osram and Cree LEDs. If you're in the market, if you're browsing for any kind of LED lighting, these are two names that you definitely need to keep your eye on. They make the best horticultural LED technology that's currently available. You can expect around 50,000 hours usage out of this twinkling little creature. Imagine how many reflectors and lamps you'd have to change in that time. Now, at one stop, we're lucky enough to have a fancy pants spectrometer, so we can show you the spectrum of light that this LED is capable of. If I just measure the full spectrum, as you can see, if I turn this off and dedicate it just to the vegetative period, we see that we're primarily in the blue, which is going to give us nice, compact internodes and brilliant plant health. And then finally, if I just flick it onto the flower, we can see that we have a lovely red spectrum, which is going to be fantastic for flower formation. Okay, so next up, we have the Hacienda LED light fixture. This comes in two flavours. There's either the H9, which pulls 270 watts, or we have the H16 which pulls 480 watts and yields about the same as a 600 watt HPS, but with a vastly broader spectrum of light, which means we're going to get a much more healthier plant. If we lift the hood on the Hacienda, we notice that it's made using the latest in multi-cob technology, and each of these come incorporated with a 90 degree reflector and four 3 watt LEDs surrounding. Now, the Hacienda comes with three separate light settings. We have blue, 
which is tailored for early cutting seedling stage, where they're leaning more heavily towards the blue spectrum for tighter internodal growth. We also have bloom, which is leaning more towards the red section for that flower formation. And it also has a full spectrum, which is going to give us that wider vitality for our plant. The Hacienda is an absolutely brilliant build quality, meaning this light can be at the helm of your growing environment for years to come. So that's a roundup of our shiny new LED offers. As you know, at One Stop, we rigorously test every bit of technology that comes in before we allow it in our stores. There is no longer an excuse for not being able to grow during the high temperature summer months. I've been Chris, this has been One Stop, and this has been the Fancy Pants LED technology.